previously on ATV 24-7. Every single time I come out on that track, I walk up to the line and see everybody that's lined up on that gate. I tell myself that they don't have what, what I have. I mean, I kind of just needed to show that and prove it to myself, and we got it, so it's nothing they can take away now. Yeah, you've got to remember that people like Josh Upperman and some of the other privateers in the pro class, if they don't perform, they don't pay for their gas to get from point A to point B, from one round to the other. You know, that's where you're going to see the blood, sweat, and tears of this sport. Yeah, everybody might be chasing me, but uh, I made a promise to my team manager, Kevin, that I was going to go there and I was going to win Loretta's for him. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to go there and I'm going to win the championship and I'm going to win, uh, win Loretta's. I think that comes from Dustin, has really in his heart always wanted to be a champion, but now he's found out how hard it is to maintain that level. You definitely have that drive when you don't have that championship. I mean, I still think I had that drive, but I just don't think I, deep down, I don't, I don't really don't have it. The pissing and moaning and excuse period is done. I mean, I don't, it's not like he's been injured or going through some family tragedy or something, something. The bike's obviously holding up and, you know, I don't want to say unexcusable, but. It's time to figure it out and get over it. You know, somebody needs to tell Wimmer, you're not last, you're in second. You have a shot for the championship. Get it together and get it done. We're at the mecca of motocross racing. We're at Loretta Lynn's Dude Ranch, as they call it, here in the Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, where the world comes to motocross racing. This is the most historical stop on the ATV Tour, and for most racers, this is actually the most important race for them. If you can come to Loretta's and win your race, win your overall, it's almost as good as winning that championship for the season or for the national title. A lot of times, this is where the championships are decided. They're, they're won and they're lost right here in the soils of Loretta Lynn. It's the final race, it's the final look that everybody gets to see. So when you leave this race, you want to go out on a big explanation point. You want to win, you want to win Loretta's. And it is sizzling. Temperature is 98 plus, heat index over 110. Not only is the temperature going to be sizzling this weekend, but the competition on the track is going to be even hotter. Josh Creamer couldn't ask for much of a better scenario than what we've got heading into Loretta Lenses. Basically, all he's got to do is go out and finish the first moto, and the championship is his. He'll get the, the number one plate. Right now, Dustin Wimmer is in a position that he's never been in. You know, he's owned the number one plate for the last two years, and knowing coming here to Loretta Lenz as well as he can do is probably not going to be good enough to hold on to that plate. He knows that he's going to have to hand that number one plate over to his, his teammate. Where he's at right now is a place of unfamiliar territory. You know, he, I'm sure there's a lot of mixed emotions for him. The race this weekend is going to be between Weenan and Upperman because they're tied for third, a dead tie. Pros have no throwouts. Then you've got John Natale, who was on a roll until we went to Redbud, the uh, round previous to this, and he had some mechanical issues, and that dropped him out of third to fourth, but he's only two points behind. And that battle for third is, it is bragging rights. It's important. It means more money when you finish up in the points. It means a lot to these guys. So maybe it's not the championship, but I'll guarantee you, you're going to see those three guys, I should say, battling it out for that third position. That's where this thing's going to get real hot this week. It's going to be like bacon popping out of a grease. Next on ATV 24-7, as the 2010 season comes to an end, we catch up with a few familiar faces to see if 2010 was a year to remember or forget. 
ATV 24-7 is brought to you by Can-Am ATVs. The ride says it all. No marketing fluff. No ridiculous claims, just a promise. The Ride Says It All. Can-Am. Find out for yourself at the Ride Says It All Tour. Only one tire brand can lay claim to winning more ATV podiums than any other tire company out there. ITP. From the Quad Cross MX tire, designed for hard packed tracks, to the Quad Cross XC, ITP's new cross country racing tire, ITP sets the standard for high-performance ATV tires. And we've got the podium wins to prove it. Order your free ITP catalog today by calling 1-800-495-4080 or visit us on the web at ITPTires.com. When you're here and he's here, do you have what it takes to get here before he does? No problem if you're riding with Amsoil, the original synthetic motor oil. Amsoil Formula 4-stroke and Dominator 2-cycle oil in your ATV gives you faster acceleration, unequaled wear protection, and maximum power to your wheels. Amsoil Automotive products do the same for your tow rig, too. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Previously on ATV 24-7. And Josh Kramer couldn't ask for much of a better scenario than what we've got heading into Loretta Lens. It's basically, all he's got to do is go out and finish the first moto, and the championship is his. He'll get the, the number one plate. The race this weekend is going to be between Weenan and Upperman because they're tied for third. Then you've got John Natale, who was on a roll, and he had some mechanical issues, and that dropped him out of third to fourth, but he's only two points behind. So maybe it's not the championship, but I'll guarantee you, you're gonna see those three guys, I should say, battling it out for that third position. That's where this thing's gonna get real hot this weekend. It's gonna be like bacon popping out of a grease. For ATV racer Heather Bird, winning a seventh championship is a thing of beauty. The first one's always cool because it's your first championship, you know, the first time we've ever done it. But, you know, all of mine have had significance to them, you know, throughout the years. <laughs> Titles are just, they're cool, you know, or whatever. You can't, you know, nobody can ever take that away from you. So having seven of them, it's awesome. When you're the champion, that means everybody's gunning for you. You know, I mean, obviously when Michelle's training or, uh, you know, Kayla's training or whoever's training, they're training to beat Heather Bird. You know, that's, that's what it is. That's what it's about. I mean, that's the way I would be. You know, anytime I've been second place or whatever, I want to beat that number one rider. So, you know, there's a target on my back or whatever, but it kind of pushes me. You know, it makes me realize that, you know, I've got to go out there and train that much harder and, you know, try to win more races. Well, this weekend I got third overall, and then um, like the whole championship series, I got second overall. Definitely feels good because knowing that I was the youngest kid out there, one of the only girls, just feels really good right now. Being able to say that I beat the boys is another plus. I like doing stuff like that, but I'm not cocky and I try not to brag, but it is definitely good knowing that um, I do good as a girl, and most of the boys, first time they see me, if it's one of their first nationals, they're like, their dad, we've even heard people, we say that we hear them laugh at us and we say, oh, she's just a girl, you'll get around her. And um, we go out there and prove them wrong, and that's what's always the best, so. Um, yeah, I definitely like to thank my mom and dad, my family, um, Scott Ward, definitely, the whole Mushin team, um, and everybody that's helped, all my extra sponsors from back home. They've all done a lot to get me here, and can't wait to just see what happens next year. At the end of the season this year, I'm going to finish sixth overall. The season's been good, but once in a while, it, when the tr track gets rough, it kind of like, it throws me off because the bumps are pushing me all over. And it's hard racing with all these boys because they've had a longer experience than me because everyone's older than me. I'm the youngest. I've always been the youngest, and I don't think it's going to change. Well, after this race, I'm really going to miss all my friends here, and we just have fun and, like, hang out and play and go in the pool and go in the rivers and stuff together. 
For ATV Parent, Stan Digby, 2010 is a year of celebration and exhaustion. Expectations, way over expectations. I mean, we come out of the 50 class last year, was eight years old, and you know, we turned nine, so we had to quit the 50s. We ended up the year, you know, from the way everything stacked down, it should be, we should be the national champion in 70 single speed and second uh, in the 90 junior. I'm tickled to death with him. I mean, you know how many parents out here would give whatever for their kid to win a championship, any second the other one? So yeah, I'm happy. Me and my wife don't have a lot. Um, I work my butt off to be able to, you know, to work for ITP to buy us a truck and trailer like this and get us here. What next year holds, I don't know. But uh, we made an impact this year. I promise you, Jordan Digby will be at the National next year. I've done got two families said if they got to pay for it out of their own pocket, they'll, he'll be here. For first year pro am racer Cole Henry, stepping up to this competitive class has been a challenge. In a way, it is it is harder than I thought. I know, you know, I've known all these guys in Pro Am for a while now. I've always hung out with them and practiced with them and everything. But when you get that many riders with that skill level together, it's, it's not like anything else I've ever experienced. It's so much pressure all the time. In any other class I've had, I, you know, I ride hard, I charge hard, I get out front, and it's easy. You pull a whole shot, you get out front, you win the moto. It's simple. Here in Pro Am, it's not like that. Even if you pull a whole shot and get out front, there's 10 guys right behind you that are ready to pass you even 10 minutes into the race. I think next year, it's gonna be more competitive, and I think you're gonna see different guys up front each weekend. I don't think anyone's gonna dominate, but you never know, someone may step it up huge over the winter and come out on top. I hope that's me. Um, there's a lot of fast guys out there that are, I know that are gonna push it up you know, during the winter. And they're gonna come out fast, faster than they ever have. For nine-year-old ATV racer Eli Hopkins, the 2010 season is one to be remembered. This season has treated me great. I've been winning the last four races in the points. In my class, I'm in first. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel very good. My favorite part has been doing good, finishing the race, and winning. When I grow up, I want to be a professional pro racer. Next on ATV 24-7, a new adversary arrives to Loretta Lynn's racetrack, and her name is Mother Nature. ATV 24-7 is brought to you by ITP Tires and Wheels with advanced traction technology. Only one tire brand can lay claim to winning more ATV podiums than any other tire company out there. ITP, from the Quad Cross MX tire, designed for hard packed tracks, to the Quad Cross XC, ITP's new cross country racing tire. ITP sets the standard for high performance ATP tires. And we've got the podium wins to prove it. Order your free ITP catalog today by calling 1 800 495 4080 or visit us on the web at ITPTires.com. the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. Streaming live all season long on AllySports.com. Previously on ATV 24-7. And it is sizzling. Temperature is 98 plus, heat index over 110. Not only is the temperature gonna be sizzling this weekend, but the competition on the track is going to be even hotter. As the pros ready themselves for the last two motos of the season, the skies above have a different agenda. Most people have never experienced an actual ATV motocross race in the rain or what we call a mud race. And uh, <laughs> it ain't fun. Watching it and riding it, it's one thing, but what the mechanics go through preparing a bike for that, is, it's phenomenal. It takes hours. Yeah, well, like, we'll raise our ride height if it's real muddy because the weight 
So then we have to prepare, you know, our setup. What are we going to do? What way are we going to do it? But it's a guessing game because right now they're out running races and the sun's out. So these guys might go pack in the track and we just did all this for nothing. We'll have about 20 minutes to tear it all back off and put it all back to how we were racing and then go race a normal bike. By the time we race, I'm sure it'll be fucking miles better if this stops. Two and a half hours. What we're doing for the moto format is it will be a one moto format. Two o'clock will be the pro-am, just like we did with the, with the pros. The pros will be immediately after that. So the pro-am will go at two o'clock and the pros will go immediately after that. Um, we had some good weather come in now. It's sunny and the track's looking better. You know, uh, they decided that they were going to knock it down to a one moto format, which is really odd and strange. And uh, of course, I, I definitely want to go out there and run two motos. I think we're pros. We should be able to do it. Next on ATV 24 7, three racers, one moto. Which ATV racer will seize the day and capture a win at Loretta's during the exciting conclusion of this 2010 AMA ATV Motocross Championship? ATV 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, first in synthetics. When you're here and he's here, do you have what it takes to get here before he does? No problem if you're riding with Amsoil, the original synthetic motor oil. Amsoil Formula 4-stroke and Dominator 2-cycle oil and your ATV gives you faster acceleration, unequaled wear protection, and maximum power to your wheels. Amsoil Automotive products do the same for your tow rig, too. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. No marketing fluff, no ridiculous claims, just a promise. The Ride Says It All, Can-Am. Find out for yourself at the Ride Says It All Tour. The Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. Streaming live all season long on AllySports.com. With the severe weather at Loretta's, the normal two-moto weekend has been boiled down to one. For racers Chad Weenan, Josh Upperman, and John Natale, whoever comes out on top will capture third in overall points for the season. For current points leader Josh Kramer, a healthy finish will guarantee him the championship. For two-time champion Dustin Wimmer, winning Loretta's will not only put him back on the podium, but may create the momentum he'll need for next year's season. Right out of the gate, Opperman and Kramer battle for the hole shot. Opperman makes a mistake. Kramer takes the lead. Weenan, Natalie, and Wimmer are close behind. Thomas Brown sneaks past Upperman for second. Weenan trails in fourth. Then moments later, passing both Upperman and Thomas Brown for second. Dustin Wimmer advances to third. The battle for the 2010 championship has just begun. Stocks Kramer for first. Wimmer inches closer to Weenan. Then Weenan makes a move. Passes Kramer for first. Teammates Josh Kramer and Dustin Wimmer battle for second. Wimmer takes the inside lane and moves ahead of Kramer. Meanwhile, 
Upperman and Natalie watch as the third place overall spot slips through their fingers. Now the battle's for fourth. Chad Wienan continues to distance himself from the pack. ATV racer Natalie is forced off the track due to mechanical issues. Meanwhile, Kramer loses more momentum, allowing Jeremy Lawson to take third. As the checkered flag flies, Can-Am rider Chad Wienan takes the top spot. Followed by Dustin Wimmer and Jeremy Lawson. Well, the uh, last round down here at uh, Loretta Lynn's in Tennessee, and the rains came in heavy uh, early on in the morning and kind of ruined our practice section and our time qualifying, and came out of the gate, uh, came out in the top five, I believe, and just really put my head down and just charged forward and I wasn't going to stop till I got to that front and got a good gap in front of me. So we ended up taking a win and that's our second one and I'm just stoked about it. It's a, it's a great feeling because it's, it's been so long for me and we're just really excited about this weekend and, and I couldn't be happier right now. It's, I'm living on a cloud right now. As the season points were tallied up, the top prize for the entire season goes to Suzuki rider Josh Kramer, followed by teammate Dustin Wimmer and Can-Am rider Chad Wienan in third. This championship came at, you know, I feel like I'm getting to where I need to be and I know what I need to do to, uh, to win races all the time. And I definitely feel like I earned the 2010 championship. You know, I woke up a lot this year and I was in my trailer and whatnot. And every time I looked at my door, I had a picture of Dustin Wimmer on the front of a magazine cover with the number one plate. And, you know, that's what I'd look at before I went riding. And, um, you know, that fueled my fire a lot. Now that I'm going to be that picture on somebody's wall, you know, that's always going to be in the back of my head. But I knew the desire that I've had this year. I knew that my determination was more than it's ever been. And I knew the dedication that it took to get there. So I'm just gonna keep my sights on that and just, you know, live by those three Ds. And hopefully it, you know, hopefully it can bring me another championship. For being so dominant the last two years, winning championship 2008, 2009, you know, losing it this year, saying I got second place is good. To me, it's not, you know, I've won the championship the last two years, I can do it. I just didn't have that, that killer instinct like I did the last two years. And, I, mean, I had some bad luck here and there that need, need to happen, and my performance wasn't as good as years past, so I ain't gonna give myself any credit for doing how I did this year, you know? I mean, I got second place, yeah, great, but I ain't first, so. Being top three is great. You know, Josh, he's, he's a champion this year, and he deserved it. He rode like one, and everybody wants to be the number one guy. That's why we all come here to compete. We want to be number one. Being that John is, he's a champion himself. He proved himself over the years, and he's, he's a tough guy. And we all both come to the conclusion that we're a team here, and this, it matters a lot that if one of us have a bad day, the other one has a good day. That's what we got to be able to do. No matter what happens, one of us has got to be up there. It's not about us anymore, it's about the company and us doing well and working as a team. Well, yeah, like the last race, I mean, it, it's huge if you're in the points battle and you get last, that it's going to drop you, you know, four or five spots, or if you get first, it's going to make you move up, you know, three or four spots. In my situation, the best I could have done was third, and the worst I could have done was fifth, I believe. I mean, overall, I feel really great about myself. I don't know, when I, when I get out front, I feel a lot more confident and I can set my own pace and uh, just things like that. But. Obviously, I want to win every race I go to, but I wasn't concerned about winning the Loretta's. You know, my concern is winning a championship, and even if I won here, it wasn't a championship. I think we've already done that at Can-Am and, and with our team and, and shown these guys that we're here for real. You know, Chad ended up winning the race this weekend, which was great, and what I need to do in the off season and, and some of the mistakes that I need to fix in me and in my training to be able to come out here and, and uh, win a championship for me and for Can-Am. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get some more motivational stuff for next year, I'll tell you that. I'm going to be, uh, going to be fired up for every race and uh, you know, when I'm mad out there, if something hits me, I'm, I'm a different person. No one beats us! No one! 
Chad Whitten doesn't beat us. John Natale doesn't beat us. Kramer doesn't beat us. No one does. Sometimes I think I just go out there and I'm too easy going, you know. But uh, it'll be a new dust swimmer for next year. On the season finale episode of ATV 24-7, we dig deep into an intense season of racing to unleash some of the most outrageous and hysterical moments of the 2010 AMA ATV Championship Series.